Ministry Crop Protection Officers have launched an island-wide survey to assess the spread of yam rust. They are also holding educational sessions to teach farmers how to spot the disease and ways to prevent its spread. Stephanie Ramin of the Crop Protection Division says yam rust affects the yam plant late in its growth cycle, just before the harvest. This can lead to total crop loss after months of investment by farmers. Which is detrimental for the farmers because when you've already made all your plans for your projected harvest and then the time comes and you get nothing, you know, it's disheartening. So we are currently um, taking on a, an island-wide survey to assess the level of um, disease incidence in St. Lucia and to see how the fungus itself really um, affects the plants in the different microclimates we have on island. We are here today with the farmers to sensitize them on the signs to look out for the best practices. To control the fungus, officials are advising farmers to avoid sharing equipment and workers between farms. The ministry is also exploring pesticide use and development of rust-resistant yam varieties. What you have in the Pacific Islands, for example, the harvest was not really affected much by the presence of the fungus. But in St. Lucia, we have gotten some reports where farmers said they do not have any harvest at all. So first we need to understand how it impacts the farmers and then moving forward we can put together um, a remedy. So some of the ones we're considering right now is good farming practices, cleaning the tools after use, not moving um, from one farm to the next, the farm workers being more cautious. We're also looking at introducing perhaps new yam varieties that has some resistance to the, um, the yam rust as we've been talking about here. And in addition, the pesticides. Now we know we have a social relationship with pesticides. They're not a bad thing, we just need to know how to use them carefully. Crop Protection Officer Winston Elliott said the farming community is concerned about the threat to food security. It is necessary that we always refresh farmers about the safe use of pesticides, protective clothing, the use of protective clothing, protecting the environment. Um, we have a fragile water system. We need to always remind farmers about promoting safety, um, promoting their own physical safety, and the quality of work that they do in terms of ensuring that the environment is protected. Officials plan to continue monitoring the fungus and work closely with farmers on an integrated pest management approach. Elliot said farmers have been engaged in the awareness sessions and are eager to learn more. How are they responding to the exercise? Overall, we have done probably about four or five sessions island-wide with the Yamras uh, Awareness Program. And the response has been extremely good by the farming community. Our extension staff has been magnificent in terms of the support we have gotten to bring the farmers out. The farmers have come out and they have been asking questions and they're really concerned. And we as a ministry are also, it's, it's a huge uh, interest for us, a concern that what is happening with food security? Yams are a big part of our staple diet. The goal is early detection and coordinated efforts to keep the disease in check. The latest session was held at the Viewfort Fisheries Complex Conference Room. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.